Cases of the coronavirus continue to spread in Oregon, and now in Clark County, firefighters are under quarantine after being exposed to the virus. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 10 o'clock. I'm Valina Jones. Two Vancouver firefighters exposed to a Clark County patient that tested positive for coronavirus are now under self-quarantine. Coin 6's Jennifer Dowling is live now with what the fire chief is saying about the exposure to those patients. Jennifer? Good evening, Valina. Well, she says it happened on March 1st, so they're quarantining themselves for about seven days of from now. And she says it's important to take a look at your hygiene practices, of course, during this time and how you're uh, taking care of your workspace. Uh, meantime, we talked to a nurse from Vancouver who tells us that uh, she's also being very aware of all of these uh, hygiene practices and she's asking the public to remain calm. I've lived through H1N1 as a nurse. Katie Beam is an experienced nurse and health educator. She's been through several public health crises, including the AIDS epidemic and H1N1. And we have to take a breath and just uh, do what our health professionals say we need to do, which is um, wash our hands, cough into our elbows. Um, we have to ensure that if we're sick, we stay at home and don't go to work. Katie was shopping across the street from Fire Station 61. The two firefighters who were exposed to coronavirus work out of that station. There's two firefighters in this facility that were exposed. So they haven't been tested and they're asymptomatic at this time, which is good because having no symptoms reduces the risk of them transmitting the disease to other personnel that they've worked with. Fire Chief Kristen Maurer says they treated the infected patient seven days ago, so they'll be in quarantine for another seven, which would be the two week period in which people who contract the virus would typically exhibit symptoms. So during that seven days, they had been at work and worked with fire crews at this station. However, again, because um, the medical program director said that they were asymptomatic, their chance of transmitting it is low. Because of this incident, medical personnel will be taking extra precautions on future calls. So we're increasing our protection level since this exposure where we're having all of our fire personnel on any medical call wear a mask. Um, and so that's just to reduce the potential exposure now that we have confirmed that it is in Clark County. Katie says this new public health concern could be challenging to work through, but she has faith in this community. I think like uh, H1N1, um, this is a novel virus and uh, there are going to be some changes we have to make incrementally to our current lives and what we have to do, but I know that we'll get through this. And Chief Maurer says that when coronavirus first became a concern, they had already stepped up their cleaning practices. She says those stepped up practices will continue. Back to you. All right. Thanks, Jennifer.